And they're off. Day three begins with the Norfolk Stakes. A fast start by Bakil and also well to the fore. Crispy Cat just restrained as Jungle Fever in the blue shows speed and so too does the favourite Wallbank. The purple and white colours very handy. The dark blue, the Antarctic and on the extreme right that is Thundermore. Brave Nation the green a little further back in midfield. The grey jacket of Pillow Talk. Redemption time is last of all following the Riddler. Jungle Fever, Bakil the green sleeves and Wallbank poised as they come past halfway and run down towards the two. Wallbank just getting a squeeze now from Ross Ryan. Bakil is driven. Jungle Fever weakening. Pillow Talk trying to come into it. The Antarctic two from the right. The extreme right. Thundermore and Brave Nation picking up ground as well. And on the extreme left, the Riddler is very competitive as they now run inside the last furlong. And the Riddler over on the far side. Brave Nation is finishing strongly. Wallbank is still in the thick of it. The three of them come together here. The Riddler just getting on top close to the finish. And the Riddler and Paul Hannigan go on to win the Norfolk. Denying Wallbank is close for second with Crispy Cat running on and then Brave Nation. And they're off in the King George the fifth stakes. Aknamara away pretty well. Likewise, Secret State well to the fore early with Deauville Legend and Tomesius Fox. The King Power colours blue and white on the rail sitting fairly handy with Isra towards the outside along with Levi Strauss. The all blue of Godolphin just coming through to head them with Secret State. Schmilson is up there. Isra is just trapped on the outside. Aknamara tucking in. Deauville Legend the white and red the inside. Then Tomesius Fox. Mandobi is in company with Surrey Miss Newfoundland in midfield. A post impressionist looked a little bit short of room, just worse than midfield. Spot the white jacket running in company with uh, Mr. Allen. Uh, Inverness just in front of those two. Flying Dolphin Yashin towards the back with Ballenbar in the silver silks. The outside Venus Senna and Berkshire Rebel and Harry Davis also towards the rear as the field reach Swinley Bottom and complete their first half mile. It's Frankie in front on Fran Strauss with Isra and Jim Crowley on the outside. These are being followed followed by Secret State and uh, William Buick just sitting in third position as they turn right-handed and start racing back towards us. Schmilson on the outside with Aknamara. Deauville legend Surrey miss to Messias Fox. In midfield, yellow and red is Savvy Knight on the outside of Newfoundland. Mandobi, a white-faced yellow jacket, is on the outside, just better than midfield. Post-impressionist is still towards the rear in that division with Inverness and Mr. Allen. Yashin still at the back with Flying Dolphin Ballenbar and Berkshire Rebel as the field now. They've just gone past the five furlong marker. They've almost completed a mile here and will shortly be turning back towards home in the King George V. And it is Fran Strauss that leads, making headway on the outside. Venus Senna has made quite a, a big move under Jamie Spencer on the outer of Isra. Secret State, Schmilson, Aknamara. These are followed then by Deauville Legend and Danny Musket just on the inside, followed by Surrey Miss to Messias Fox, ridden along Mandobi as they're into the home straight and they've got two and a half furlongs left to go. Frankie wants more from Fran Strauss. Isra is poised to mount a challenge. Secret State the inside. Angling out Deauville Legend. Schmilson trying to keep that one in. Then to Messias Fox. Surrey missed down the outer with Mr. Allen as now Secret State takes over. Secret State and William Buick get to the lead. Running towards the last furlong. Isra. Savvy Knight trying to run on from the back with Deauville Legend on the outside. Isra's attempting to chip away at the advantage of Secret State with Deauville Legend on the outside. Secret State on the far side, Deauville Legend, the near side, they race towards the line, Secret State I think just held Deauville Legend, it will go to the judge, Isra next Savvy Knight was running on, so was Flying Dolphin Surrey missed, and to Messias Fox Ready? And uh, they're off for the Ribblesdale Stakes Sea Silk Road just pauses slightly leaving the stall, so too Mukadama and it's Mystic Wells into an early lead Mystic Wells with close-up Magical Lagoon just ahead of history in the blue and orange striped cap and going up out wide for Godolphin is Life of Dreams and they're followed by Sea Silk Road and at the back is Mukadama as they run downhill on their way towards Swinley Bottom covering the first quarter mile and Mystic Wells out in front under Ben Curtis by maybe two and a half lengths now to Magical Lagoon, Life of Dreams on the outside, then History locked away under Ryan Moore towards the inside, followed by Sea Silk Road, Tom Marquand in that yellow jacket, and finally Mukadama and Jim Crowley. So running into the bottom right-hander inside the mile, and out in front still Mystic Wells by a length and a half or so to Life of Dreams. Magical Lagoon, a couple of lengths back in third, followed by History on the inside, and still weighted with Sea Silk Road at the rear of the field, along with Mukadama. 
Now they meet the rising ground and Mystic Wells is just beginning to press on here and kicks into a four, maybe five length lead now over Life of Dreams, but a long way to go and it's uphill all the way. Mystic, Dream, uh, Mystic Wells out in front by six or seven lengths now to Life of Dreams in second. In third, Magical Lagoon. History on the inside, Sea Silk Road and Mukadama. And the jockeys in behind this leader don't really look very worried at the moment. They head on towards the final half mile. Mystic Wells from Life of Dreams, Magical Lagoon, History, Sea Silk Road still weighted with in that yellow jacket of Mukadama as they now race into the home turn and on their way to the final three furlongs. If anything, Mystic Wells has pulled further clear. It's seven lengths now to Life of Dreams. Magical Lagoon comes under pressure. Then Sea Silk Road followed by History and Mukadama at the back of the field turning for home and Mystic Wells is now coming right back to the field who are headed by Life of Dreams with Magical Lagoon. Sea Silk Road back in fourth under a strong drive and Magical Lagoon just beginning to get on top now from Life on Dreams but here is Sea Silk Road down the outside joining in under the pumping Tom Marquand. It's Magical Lagoon and Sea Silk Road. Sea Silk Road just doing the better from Magical Lagoon. Mukadama and History in behind them. Up to the line Magical Lagoon is fighting back on the fall and getting back up. Magical Lagoon. Sea Silk Road might just have wavered a little in the run up towards the line. Tight for third history on the far side of Mukadama and then Life of Dreams of Mystic Wells. And they're off for the 2022 Gold Cup and Stradivarius jumping out fairly handy on the inside from stall two. Princess Zoe is handy looking across his Tash Khan's rider Ben Robinson Earl of the Cotswolds on the outside gradually perhaps getting into the lead now. Bubble Smart for France and the Blue Red Sleeves just to the outside or just going on ahead of Stradivarius. Then Mojo Star Kiprios in the White Sleeves out wide and at the back a Lignac and finally burning victory as they race through the first quarter mile and it's Earl of the Cotswolds and Liam Keneary that now leads the way to Tash Khan in second. Bubble Smart and veteran Gerald Mosse on the inner. They're tracked then by Princess Zoe towards the outside of Stradivarius followed then by Kiprios the favourite Mojo Star well backed in the last few moments before the start and then on the inside is Alignac and finally burning victory on their way towards the grandstand with still over a circuit to go and it's Earl of the Cotswolds that still leads the way at uh a sensible looking pace from Tash Khan in second. Bubble Smart is right there on the inside getting cover in third place followed by Princess Zoe then Kiprios. Stradivarius has uh, dropped back through the field possibly intentionally by Frankie de Tori. He's now a good seven eight lengths off the pace just in front of Mojo Star and then on the inside of Lignac and lastly Burning Victory. There'd be about a dozen lengths, first to last. As they swing now, right-handed away from the enclosures and on their way towards the mile and a half starting point. And it's Earl of the Cotswolds that continues to cut out the pace from Tash Khan in second. Third is the French Raider Bubble Smart on the inside, followed by the Grand uh, Grey Mare, Princess Zoe in fourth. Kiprios is in fifth, then Stradivarius, Mojo Star, Elegnac, and lastly, Burning Victory. On their way down the hill now towards Swinley Bottom and very soon they'll pa pass the halfway stage in this Gold Cup and it's Earl of Cotswolds from on the outside Tash Khan, Bubble Smart, Princess Zoe still close up with Kiprios on the inside the black with the yellow cap the familiar colours aboard Stradivarius and then behind these are Lignac, Burning Victory and Mojo Star towards the outside of those. On they go towards the final nine furlongs now. Earl of the Cotswolds still out in front. Very few changes in the order. Tash Khan is shadowing the leader in second place. Bubble Smart is third. Princess Zoe last year's runner-up is well poised. Followed by Kiprios. And then Stradivarius bidding to emulate Yates by winning a fourth Gold Cup. Back on the inside in sixth place at the moment at Swinley Bottom. Followed by Mojo Star. And then Alignac and Burning Victory. Now they begin to climb as they make their way back towards the home straight. And it's Earl of the Cotswolds from Tash Khan in second place, closely followed by Bubble Smart. 
Princess Zoe, Kiprios, the black with the white sleeves, Stradivarius on the inside, Frankie Dottori will just be looking for a clear run at some stage, Mojo Star closing up just to the outside, then Alignac and Burning Victory, and now they're a little bit better bunch than they were as they head to the final five furlongs, continuing up the hill, Earl of the Cotswolds still leading the way, Tash Khan, Bubble Smarts on the inside, Princess Zoe, Stradivarius breathing down their necks, has edged off the inside now, Mojo Star still just outside, Kiprios on the outside, uh, just uh, behind Princess Zoe as they now run into the home turn. Earl of the Cotswolds leading from Tash Khan, Bubble Smart, Princess Zoe, and then on the inside behind these at Lignac, then Kiprios possibly just holding Stradivarius in at the moment. Mojo Star behind these, and they're well bunched together. Plenty of chances turning for home. Earl of the Cotswolds, Tash Khan down the outside, Princess Zoe with Kiprios, Bubble Smart, far side, burning victory has cantered through from the rear of the field. And then behind them, Stradivarius now pulled to the outside. Kiprios takes over from Mojo Star. Burning victory. Stradivarius begins to stay on out wide, but still more to do. It's Mojo Star and Kiprios from Stradivarius. Stradivarius is inching closer. Time running out. Kiprios in front. A half length. And it's Kiprios who wins the Gold Cup from Mojo Star. Burning victory far side as Stradivarius. Followed home by Tash Khan, Bubble Smart, Princess Zoe. And they're off with Harrow on the extreme right, leaving the stalls and spin around on the far side is Great Max with Marlex over there and Jimi Hendrix is going forward as they race more or less in one group, Bolt Hole and uh, Harrow towards the right, also with Tranquil Knight and King of Time towards the right. The main body of the field coming more or less centre with on the far side is Marlex tracked by in the same colours Great Max, one for the gutter right there and then Mr McCann in the red jacket, Jimi Hendrix, his handy power of beauty and lawful command and working away to Blenheim Boy and then who put 50 in you who interestingly was drawn on the stand side but is in that centre field group followed behind these by Sed Marib and then Rib He and I'm a Gambler and One East and in the group two is Amortentia and they're followed by Herbert's Reign and towards the back of the pack is Saga in the Queen's Jacket the others are coming across now Harrow, Tranquil Knight spin around and Bolt Holder join in so we've got one body now as they head down inside the final three furlongs and on the far side great max with Jimi Hendrix still doing well trying to come through his atrium and Bali also on the scene Kitsune Power on the far side Koi Koi and Thesis down the center is Lawful Command who put 50 in you is trying to grab them back begins to stay on well who put 50 in you Thesis far side Jimi Hendrix who put 50 in you Lawful Command and one east in the center but Thesis on the far side who put 50 in you in the Nissan and Saga very late for the Queen but too late oh just missed Saga just missed out it's gone to thesis from Saga then Jimi Hendrix who put 50 in you chased up by one east Fiac McHugh and they're off over a mile and a quarter in the Hampton Court Stakes. Claymore got away well, so too did Reach for the Moon on the outside under Frankie de Tori. These are the first two. The dark blue half is in third early on. The violet jacket King Max and Ross Ryan on the outside of Ryan Moore and Half. And then Maxud, the green and yellow and Cresta under Jamie Spencer dropped out at the back of the field as they run through this first two furlongs and get to Swinley Bottom. And it's Adam Kirby and Claymore leading the way by just over a length to reach for the moon in second position reach for the moon bidding to give her majesty the queen a 25th royal ascot winner in her platinum jubilee year and is poised in second spot reach for the moon in third position is half on the inside of king max and then tom marquand and maxud with just cresta behind as the field now run past the six furlong marker half a mile behind them and Claymore leads the way to the favourite reach for the moon in second position Half is in third place the outside then is at King Max the white face followed by Max Sud and Cresta will need to pass the other five to win as they're about to run inside their final four furlongs here and on the run back towards home and it is still Claymore that has the initiative but reach for the moon is close up on the outside followed by King Max tracking Frankie's every move half on the inner and then Max just getting a squeeze in fifth position Cresta is at the back De Tori just starts to nudge on reach for the moon it's Claymore that has the initiative as they turn into the home straight two and a half furlongs to go in the Hampton Court the moment of
of truth here. Reach for the Moon is attacking Claymore. Kirby asking for a little bit more. Reach for the Moon trying hard. The near side to Tory goes for his stick. This would bring the house down if he can get past. Reach for the Moon the near side. Claymore still fighting on the far side. They run inside the final furlong. King Max is back in third and Claymore is at the moment holding Reach for the Moon who can't get past Claymore who's finding extra in front and Claymore will make it another memorable moment for Jane Chapel Hyam and win the Hampton Court Stakes under Adam Kirby. Reach for the Moon second ahead of King Max and Cresta, Maxard and Half. And they're off and racing. A uh, pretty level start over on the far side. Montesib is just a little bit slow away. One of the fancied runners, Uda Lally. They converge up the middle with Mum's Tipple well to the fore in company with uh, Baradar and also Fastneck Crown, the green and yellow. Tan Marwi's taking a, quite a keen hold just in behind under James McDonald, followed by above and current option Uzo, the gold jacket just on the right on the near side ahead of Edgelab. Al Rufar is over on the far side and these are then being followed by Ropey Guest with Uda Lally on the extreme left is Spirit of Light under Richard King's at the extreme right at the moment is Silent Film followed by Path to Freedom. Tactical is well back in the field at this stage in the colours of Her Majesty the Queen, the purple and scarlet pistoletto, Ross Collin towards the back with Chief of Chiefs as it is Mum's Tipple that leads the way here. They have now got two and a half furlongs left to go. Mum's Tipple, Tan Marwi above, Fastnet Crown is hard driven, Al Rufar saw above trying to get into it along with Fool's Rush in, Spirit of Light, Inver Park, the dark blue over on the far side trying to pick up some ground and documenting and Ropey Guest are also getting into it spread right across the course here as they run inside the furlong. Ropey Guest and Tom Queen to the far side in company with Inver Park and Ben Curtis coming through Inver Park now just about getting to a narrow advantage finishing well is Ross Collin as well as they come towards the line and it's Inver Park that has the initiative here and Inver Park has won the Buckingham Palace. Ropey Guest close for second with the running on Chief of Chiefs um, that was finishing very well along with Ross Collin.